Hey, in this video we're going to talk about Argonaut, which is a DevOps platform automation tool that allows your developers to self-serve their infrastructure and deploy their applications with ease. Now, if you haven't heard the term platform engineering or DevOps automation, basically it just means you have a tool that simplifies doing what a DevOps engineer would do. So we have a tool like Argonaut that we can log into, and it's gonna to connect to all our different cloud environments, our communication channels, and it's gonna allow us to provision things like databases, Kubernetes clusters, and easily deploy applications to them through an easy to use interface where you can just sort of click and deploy things. So it adds a lot of simplicity to your stack, and this can be really good if you're working on a small team that doesn't have a lot of engineers that can create all the automations that are required to do all these things. Now the best way to understand how these tools work is to actually use them, so let's jump into the video and I'll show you how I deployed my application. By the way, this video is sponsored by Argonaut, so just wanted to keep that out there. And I'm going to be using the free tier of their application, the startup tier, uh, which is $0 a month. And you can use the same to do your own project. I think it allows for about five free projects. So it's good enough if you're just wanting to try out the application and see if it's right for you and your team. All right, so this is my Argonaut account, and this is how I have everything set up in Argonaut. So underneath the connections, you can see this is how I get all my different accounts connected. So you can see I have my AWS account, my GitHub account, and then I have some notification channels. Uh, I have my Slack as well as my Discord. And this is how I'm going to receive notifications on my different builds. So up here uh, is the first thing you're going to want to do, and that's to connect your cloud environment. So it's pretty easy to do. You just add an account and then you select either from Amazon or Google Cloud Platform. Those are the two cloud platforms that Argonaut currently supports. Once you select them, just go ahead and click the Create AWS Integration. And basically what this does is you'll need to sign into your Amazon account and then just run a CloudFormation template. Uh, the process is really simple. You basically hit the checkbox and then hit Create Stack. And after that, Argonaut has everything it needs to start using your Amazon account to deploy your application. So the next thing that you'll want to set up after you have your cloud connected is your version control. So if you add an account here, you can see they have support for GitHub and GitLab. I use GitHub for everything, so I just connected my GitHub account, and then I just gave Argonaut permissions to the repositories that I knew I'd be using it for. Again, this was a relatively simple process. All I needed to do was sign into GitHub and authorize Argonaut as an application to those repositories. Once I had this basic setup, I was ready to create my different environments. So if you go to environments, you can see I have multiple different environments here. Creating an environment is really simple. Basically, you just hit environment. You choose which cloud account you want to integrate with. You give it a name, select a region, and then you can choose to use an existing VPC or have Argonaut create it for you. So I'm just going to cancel out of this as uh, it's pretty simple to do and you can follow along and do that yourself. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go into my testing environment and explore that with you. So you can see I have my Flask application deployed. Uh, we're going to have a look at that in just one moment. First, I want to talk about the infrastructure. So if you click on this infra tab, you can see that I have the VPC provisioned uh, and it's named testing and it was created 10 hours ago. And it also tells me how much uh, money this is going to be costing. Uh, this is basically how much Amazon is going to be charging me for this particular VPC per month. Now, if I want to add some additional resources like an RDS database or a Kubernetes cluster, it's really simple to do. You just hit the resource button and then you have this uh, drop down menu and then you can choose what you want to create. So as of May 2023, this is the current infrastructure that it looks like they support. Uh, but if you need something else, maybe it'll be added in the future. So if you wanted something like an RDS database, you just hit RDS and then you put in all the applicable settings like the instance type, 
uh, username, password, storage, and database engine. And it gives you at the bottom how much that resource is actually going to cost. So this is quite a bit simpler than actually going into Amazon and creating the database yourself and then connecting your applications up to it. That's sort of the benefit of using a platform engineering tool like Argonaut to do this for you. Now, if you wanted something like a Kubernetes cluster, this is one thing that I did test out and it worked really well. Uh, basically, I just gave my cluster a name, I chose the instance type, and then I hit create EKS cluster, and then it provisioned it. So this is one option for you. Just keep in mind that EKS clusters on Amazon are not cheap. So if you're just a lone developer, you may want to go the same route that I used to create my application, which was to do the serverless Lambda function. And that is a very low cost, almost free option. So if we go back to apps here, you can see I have my Flask application. And basically all I did was hit create application and then I filled in a couple details. The screen looks exactly the same as this and uh, I didn't have to choose much actually. I just linked it to one of the repositories and uh, Argonaut was already connected to my repository so I just, it was just a drop down menu to select it. Uh, then I just chose the branch I wanna work off of and then down here I set up my build information. Now, probably this is the most important part for everyone watching this video is just to make sure that you have the right build image set up. So mine is a Python application. So it makes sense to use their Python image here. If you were building a Node application, you would choose Node. Java, you would use Java. After I select my build method, I just put in the build parameters. I put in the run command, what port it's going to be listening on, as well as how to install the requirements.txt file. So once that was done, I hit apply changes or create app, and then it started deploying. If I go to this deployments tab, you can see the history of my previous deployments. This was the first time it deployed and it gave me the complete history of uh, it launching my application, building my application, and then pushing it to Amazon's cloud. And then if we go here, this was actually an update to my application. So all I had to do was go into my GitHub repository make an update and Argonaut detected the update and then deployed the new version of my application for me. So I'm going to show that for everyone here in just one moment. Uh, but before I do that, let's just go back to our environments, go to uh, my testing environments, and you can see here that my application is uh, up and running. And if I want to access my application, I can use this external link. Now, this is what your default link will sort of look like, but you can customize this to your own domain. And Argonaut has that built-in functionality. So let's go ahead and click it. And you can see it loads up my application. Now let's go ahead and quickly change this application and change it to version 1.0.2. So all I'd have to do is go into my application and then let's go to the GitHub repository. And then I'm going to actually just go into the Python application and make a quick change here. Now there you go, we're on version 1.0.2. Commit those changes. And we'll head on back to the Argonaut console. Let's go to deployments. And you can see that it has already automatically picked it up here. And it's starting to build the new version of my application. Uh, it's got all those image layers already cached here. So it should be pretty quick. And it'll be up and running in just one moment here. All right, so my app has finished building. We can see that it was successful and uh, it actually has the link to the application up here. So I can just go and visit and this should be the new version of my application. And there you go, you can see it's version 1.0.2. So you can see how convenient a platform like this is. I didn't really have to do anything very technical here. All I had to do was connect up my cloud accounts uh, a couple different notification channels, and then link my GitHub repository. And then I just needed to set up my application with a couple different parameters. And now anytime I update my application, it's automatically getting deployed to the cloud. 
Now, if you're looking to deploy an application using Argonaut, I'm going to share in the description below my GitHub repository uh, for the application that I use to deploy. So you can use that, you can fork that repository and use that to deploy your application. Argonaut also has some tutorials on their website for deploying different types of applications, as well as deploying them to things like a Kubernetes cluster. So there's a lot more advanced stuff that you can do that I didn't get to show in this tutorial. So if you're interested in doing something a little more advanced than what I showed here, make sure to check out their documentation. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one.